are you? こんにちは皆さん、お元気ですか ?Today, I'd like to talk about the philosophy of Naka Sensei about karate. You know that I'm his translator in his seminar in Spain. So I explained that in the seminar too because he was talking so he was talking about this. Then I asked Naka Sensei if I can speak this, these things in my video and he gave me the permission and he thinks it's okay. So now I'd like to explain you with more detail. So he said, There are three very important things in karate. So, three principal things is shise, kokyu, and jushin ido. So, what are they? Shise, shise with this kanji, shise means posture, our posture, how we stand up or how we sit down. So, this is shise. Our posture. But this kanji really meet with the first one. This is called also, we can pronounce sugata, the first kanji. Sugata is appearance, our appearance and figure. And the second one, here we pronounce sei, but we can also pronounce ikioi. Ikiyoi, that is energy, energy. For example, Ah, um, watashi no tomodachi wa totemo ikiyoi ga arimasu. He is very energetic. So, ikiyoi, he's got a power, he's got an energy, energetic. That is sei, this kanji. So, what does it mean? She say it's a very, very Interesting word, the posture, but it means that our appearance has got lots of energy. The appearance, the figure, that has lots of energy. That is, she say, that is the posture. So the posture must have lots of energy. That is, she say, the first important thing. And the second important thing, so three are very important. Kokyu, kokyu, kokyu means breathing. That is kokyu. And this kanji, ko, we can also pronounce yo. That comes from yobimas, yobu. Yobimas means to call, to call someone or to call the bell. Bell を呼びます。ブンブン。Or also, タクシーを呼びます。I call taxi. 呼びます。The second kanji, we can pronounce su. That comes from すいます。すいます。It means to inhale. That is すいます。For example, we use タバコをすいます。あ、私はタバコをすいません。タバコを吸います。It means I smoke. 私はタバコを吸いません。I don't smoke. 私はタバコを吸いません。Like that. So, 吸います is inhale. 呼吸 and 呼 the meaning is in, Jap- in Japanese we say to call. But the, this kanji come from China. In China, this 呼 it means to To get something out or like exhale. So, kokyu, exhale and inhale, that is breathing. Breathing. So, breathing is very important. Then, the third important thing is jushin ido. Jushin ido. Jushin, it means the center of gravity. The center of gravity, jushin. Ido. Ido means to transport or to move. For example, and then 
重心 this 感じ you see this 10 I circle it with a, a the green the stronger green color and here this 10 it is the adjective e adjective and we say omoi omoi so we can pronounce omoi instead of ju omoi means heavy heavy for example omoi suitcase omoi suitcase uh, uh, that is very heavy suitcase omoi heavy and the second one this here we pronounce shin but we can pronounce kokoro kokoro means heart heart feeling heart so juicing the center of gravity it literally meaning is the point where our heart is the heaviest the heavy heavy heart heavy heart it sounds a little bit strange but where the heart it is heavy is the center of gravity Ido, I told you that is transportation, that, that to transport your center of gravity, to move your center of gravity. But this kanji, omoi, heavy, and here, ido, ido, it means, ido, it was the transportation. But the, the last kanji, do, it is also ugokimasu, ugoku, ugoku means to move, to move. But the kanji to move, it is like this. Something heavy, and this is like a car in katakana, but this is chikara, the force, your force, the strength. So, with your force, something very, very heavy、mm, that is to move. Well, and this kanji, so this omoi here, this kanji, okay, and this one, the left part. If you are studying Japanese, you know this is very similar to ashi, ashi, that is leg, or foot or feet. Ashi. But this is ashi hen, this is the part of kanji, the, part, the left part, it is called hen, ashi hen. So if you see uh, uh, any kanji with this one here and something, It is always something to do with, with legs or the feet. Here, this part and this omoi, heavy. Do you imagine what is it? The part where it is heavy in your feet or legs, that is kakato. We say kakato, that is the heel. Heel, the heel. So, in the heel, on the heel, this, this the center of gravity is on the heel. That is the meaning that Naka Sensei told us. Then, this kanji, we are going to see this kanji. This one. Do you remember this? This is kokyu breathing. And we have the other word, iki. We say iki, and this is just the same meaning. Synonymous. The same meaning, is the synonymous. And this kanji here, it is from ji, jibun. Jibun, it means I, myself, jibun. Jibun no ji, here, this part. And this under part, this is kokoro. Kokoro. Kokoro means our heart. Our heart for the feeling. Kokoro. Kokoro, feeling. So, iki, this respiration, this, this respiration or breathing, this means. Mm, the heart of myself. The heart of myself. This is the meaning of this kanji. And the, so the breathing, iki. 
But there's a little bit difference between kokyu and iki. But you can pronounce, uh, you can translate the same way, breathing. Kokyu, breathing. Iki, breathing. But the difference is kokyu is just that fact that we inhale and exhale. That is kokyu. Only that. And iki, that can be so, inhale, exhale. Yes, but plus something. That something is the air. Air that we inhale and the air that we uh, inhale and exhale. The air that we exhale, that is also iki. So iki has more meaning than just kokyu. Well, so kokyu. Anyway, kokyu and iki, that is breathing. Now, from this kanji breathing, you do you remember this is kokoro, our heart. So, comes here. Our heart, kokoro, kokoro, our feeling. And if I want to say the heart, just like the human organ, and we said, we say shinzo, shinzo. That is the heart as an organ. But kokoro, when we say kokoro, that is heart, but our feeling, our feeling. That is kokoro. Kokoro. Plus karada. Karada, it means body, body. But if you are studying Japanese, you might think, oh, it's strange, because I learned karada, and that kanji was only this part, the second one. Yes, this one is also pronounced karada. This is from ninben. Ninben, it means like e and katakana. And this means the person. If there is some kanji with this part, this means person, ninben. And here, this is like one, two, three, four. This is the tree. But here, boom, there's a line, and this means book. So the person and the book, this, this is body. Body, karada. This is karada. But karada can be the body, our bodies, or also animal bodies. Bodies. Body is just like a like a meat, the body, body. So, karada, this is a body for every kind of species. Body, but if we write with this kanji too, then we pronounce also karada or shintai, 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 or karada, and this karada. When we say this karada with these two kanjis, it's only human body. Only human body. Because this karada means uh, the body and the soul. Body and the soul. Soul, the inside. So, this is only the human bodies, human bodies karada with this kanji. But our human body can also say only this kanji too. So, Heart and the body together, that is shisei. That, that is the posture. So Naka Sensei was telling us that the good posture with a posture, posture, is made of heart and the body. Well, the body, yeah, that is true. <laughs> To be in a the, the, the very very good posture, the body is needed. We need body. Hmm? But he says more important is our heart. So if there's no heart, that is not good posture. Good posture, good stance, good position is made of the body, body position, and also the heart position, 
the hard feeling. That is shisei. Shisei, do you remember? That was the appearance has got lots of energy. So that must be very important, our heart. So there's a lots of relation between many things. Okay? And now he was telling us also Lei Sansoku. Lei Sansoku. This comes from this breathing. Do you remember? Iki, breathing. Breathing. The same kanji breathing here. Iki, here. In this part, we pronounce soku. Lei sansoku. Lei sansoku. Well, lei, I think you know already. Lei is the Japanese way of greeting. When we say lei, like that. This is Japanese way of greeting. Lei. Lei. San. The second kanji. This san is very easy one. One, two, three. Three lines. Three horizontal lines. That means three. Ichi ni san. San. This is san. Soku. This is the breathing. So, it means lei. Greeting. Greeting with three breathings. Three, three breathing. Uh, how we can do this? So this is the one person is standing, standing straight. Then when we do our greeting, they, when they say they, at first, without any air. The air is, everything is empty, empty. Then when we do like this, we incline, then we inhale. And here when we stop, exhale all the air, exhale here. Then when we are coming back to the first position, then inhale again. So do it. Here the first position. Inhale, here exhale, then again, inhale. Did you do it? Hmm? That is Lei Sansoku. Lei Sansoku. How? We must bow and coming back. So if you are doing very right, you can't do it so quickly, right? Because it's Depend, depend on your breathing. But he was always telling us everything. When we, we do lay, just your body like this, it doesn't, any, it doesn't have any meaning. You must do it with all of your heart, with your sincerity, all of your heart. Then that makes sense. So he was teaching us. Three important things. She say posture, kokyu, breathing, jushin ido, how to move our center of gravity. These three important things, but lots of things are related. We must think of it. So the respiration with our heart, because these kanjis are very very curious and interesting so he studied and he was thinking how to relate these things with not only our movement but also our soul our heart and i think that's a beauty of karate in his style don't you think so if you liked this video, would you like, give me like. And if you didn't start subscribe yet, please subscribe my channel. And also if you have any questions or suggestions, maybe you can write them under this video. I, I read every, every comment and I answer it. And if you, if you are, um, your suggestions or question is very, very interesting for me, then I may 
I I may make more more video、uh, more videos about your questions. So thank you very much. どうもありがとうございました。じゃあまた会いましょう。じゃあね、バイバイ。